So what is in an affirmative voice in legislation? Uh, the California legislature, and like a number of states, has taken the approach of trying to change, amend existing statutes to reflect an affirmative or the active voice rather than the negative voice in legislation and obviously in our statutes. As a result of this, the Office of Legislative Counsel is slowly but surely methodically changing the statutes to reflect speaking in the active voice. So what are some examples of these technical changes to statutes that are being made? Well, there, uh, current law says, nothing in this section shall be construed to limit the rights of employees. They're changing it to say, this section does not limit the rights of employees. Another example, nothing in this chapter shall authorize something. And instead they say, this chapter does not authorize. Existing law says, no provision of this section shall apply in specified circumstances. They're changing that to this section shall not apply. You often find in statute, no individual shall do the following. And instead they're changing it to read an individual shall not do the following. Or this division shall not be construed to authorize or permit. Now they say, this division does not authorize or permit. The state board shall have no authority to do the following. They change it to be the state board does not have the authority. No person shall be subjected to discrimination in this state. That's changed to a person shall not be subjected to discrimination. Nothing in this division affects the jurisdiction of a local city. It is now, this division does not affect the jurisdiction. So why are these changes being made to existing California statutes, many that have been around for decades, if not longer? Well, it's a reflection of modern legal writing, including the drafting of legislation, with the idea being that the writing should be in the active voice to eliminate potential confusion and to bring clarity and consistency to the law. The use of the active voice or making affirmative statutes helps make the law clearer to the reader. It uses fewer words generally, and it brings a better understanding to the statutory language. And that makes a statute easier to comply with by those who are regulated by it or those who are enforcing or interpreting the statutes.